Do my honeybees really need to be fed going into winter? Hi, this is Tim, Southwest Ohio Bees, your common sense beekeeper. Feeding bees this time of year is, some people think it's a science. Other people will tell you, yes. Other people will tell you, absolutely not. Other people tell you exactly how you better be doing it or you're doing it wrong. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, this year, in my location, I have no choice but to feed. And you may want to think about it yourself, whether you're in one boat or the other as far as feeding. And the reason I say that is because we are in a serious drought. I mean a serious drought. I mean, you talk about a dearth. We have not had any measurable rain in two and a half. It's going close to three months, but about two, I'll, I'll call it two and a half months since we've had any measurable rain at all. Everything is brown around here. There is nothing blooming. Yes, we've got some goldenrod here and there, and the bees are getting a lot of nice pollen off that goldenrod, but they're bringing in no nectar, absolutely none. So you say to yourself, well, when I harvested this year, or maybe I didn't harvest this year, I left the bees tons of honey in their hives. They've got a lot. I left an entire super on there. I've got a second deep full of honey on that hive. Have you checked it lately? I mean, really checked it? I was late feeding this year. I, I really, really was. Um, I went into the hives a, a few weeks ago, and uh, even in the strong hives, there was no nectar at all. Plenty of pollen, uh, other resources around there, uh, bee bread. Um, except for the strong hives, there was no brood in most of the hives. And in the strong hives, very minimal brood. A few patches here and there. I knew right then these bees did not have enough nectar. They didn't have enough resources coming in. I left them honey. I left a lot of honey, more than I normally do after I harvest honey. I left them much more than normal. This long drought, this dearth we've had this year, they have consumed every bit of that honey. Everything was gone. My deeps that I had honey in, gone. Supers that I left on, gone. Everything is empty. So what I did, I started feeding. Now here's another myth that people will tell you I'm absolutely wrong on. It's September. You have got to feed them two to one sugar water. Uh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at that when people tell me I have to feed two to one. There is a, a time and place for two to one. Absolutely. Just because it's fall is not the time and place. That <laughs> fall means nothing. It, it, it means nothing. Temperature means everything. It was 94 degrees a couple days ago. Again, why do I need two to one? The idea of two to one is the bee is getting cooler temperatures and the bees don't have as much time to dry that sugar water into honey for their storage. It's 94 degrees out. I think there's enough heat and time for them to dry one to one sugar water. In fact, I'm using less than that. I'll use, I use right now I'm using around 0.75 to one. So it's pretty watery and you know what? A couple weeks after I've started doing this, I looked in all my hives, and every one of them have frames of stored nectar. They are storing one-to-one -one sugar water. Uh, they do store it. You do not have to have the two-to-one. Another benefit of feeding sugar water, remember I told you I had no brood in any of my hives? Well, very little in some of them. Every single hive, I mean every single hive has frames of brood after just a couple weeks of feeding. Uh, the stronger hives, I probably have four, five, six frames easy 
Um, that doesn't sound like a lot, but again, remember, I had no brood at, at one point. In the weaker hives, I have a minimum of two to three frames in the smaller hives. So feeding makes a difference. Of course, I use Apis Biologics, which also helps with the brood. Uh, you can see a link for that down below. Now, if I start to see daytime temperatures dipping down into the 50s, then I better get my button gear and uh, change it up to two to one because the days are numbered for them to dry that out. But right now, the forecast as far out as I can look at shows 80s, ooh, some days are 70s, uh, those are nice. Um, but it's not cold enough yet, so they, can, they have plenty of time to dry out. A strong hive can dry out a frame of honey in days. It's not that big of a deal. A weak hive, probably a week or so, maybe two if it's a really weak hive. It really does, the bees are really good at their job. So what I'm saying is, take a look at your hives. Take a good look at your hives. If they have no nectar in them and all that stored honey you thought you left is gone, you better be feeding. And then again, there's no need to, to feed the two to one just yet. There, there really, really isn't. Um, but watch the weather. Watch the forecast. And when you do see those temperatures headed your way, those lower temperatures, you might want to switch it up to two to one at that point until they have enough stores for winter. So that, that's my rant for today. I'm just an amateur beekeeper. I've uh, been doing it for a few years now. I uh, love doing it. And I like to share what I've learned with others. So you have a great day. Be sure to subscribe.